So today I had a lot of IPR done and I have uh, Dr. Mark Reaper here who's going to explain exactly what IPR is because I thought it was like another public radio station but it's not. That's NPR. Quite, quite different. So I'm going to switch it over to, um, to, to Mark and he's going to explain what IPR is. I just explained what, you know, that we were doing another IPR and we've done that several times through my visits. Uh, could you explain what, what IPR is and how it sort of fits into the whole Invisalign procedure? IPR, contrary to popular belief, is not a radio station. <laughs> is interproximal reduction, IPR. And it's a technique for us to create space where we need to have space to move the teeth. As adults, our teeth are no longer, or our jaws are no longer growing and creating space for us. So we need to make space between the teeth in order to be able to move them into the position that we'd like to move them into. In your case, because we're trying to draw the teeth backwards, what, what we, was interesting in your case that I really liked because of the need to do the IPR, we also solved another problem. Because in the beginning, we've created some space between these teeth in the anterior called the, the from K9 to K9. And we've done point over the course of the treatment, we're now finally reached the point where we've completed the 0.6 millimeters required in order to create the space for us to move your teeth into alignment. You had a lot of triangular spaces between your teeth because your teeth were a bit shovel shaped, by taking the corners off of the teeth, we could slowly bring the teeth together and make this triangular void a bit smaller as well. So your, your IPR served two benefits. It created space, but it also helped us to solve a bit of the issue, aesthetic issue of having triangular spaces, which are also food traps in places where tartar can accumulate. So we were able to slenderize the tooth and bring the contact points longer and deeper down towards the gum so that we decrease that space. But also created the space I needed to make your teeth fit behind the upper teeth and to avoid the collisions. And that's where we are now. So today you're wearing number 12. We've completed some of the IPR and this triangle will actually become a, even a bit smaller. I don't know if we could see in the beginning the size of the triangle was just a, oh, yeah, quite a yeah, bit yeah. larger. Yeah. And it's a way for us to deal with that aesthetic issue at the same time, move the teeth in and create a better arch form. In video here, you'll see how your teeth were displaced and rotated on the arc. And now by number 12, they've come in quite a bit. We have a much smoother arc that follows the natural arc line. And at the same time, we have been able to achieve closure of some of those triangular spaces that were an aesthetic issue at the bottom of your teeth. And also a health issue because they accumulated plaque and tartar mm. and made it difficult for you to clean those areas where it's food, food caught in those spots. And now at this point, we're gonna retract those in further so they fit now behind the upper teeth and we'll uh, get rid of those collisions that you've been having. So going back to the IPR, how is that done? Can you maybe give an example or show, yep. show the, what I, you use? IPR is it done feels like, like a nail file. A little bit, for me, it feels a little like bit of a nail file. It's, <laughs> it's a tooth file. Um, we do it very precisely with a, a technique that I, I learned in my training called the Galler method. And it's using a series of small files, each one progressively larger. So I go between your teeth with a, with a very thin um, metal strip and remove a tiny bit of the enamel between the teeth. And then the next strip removes a tiny bit more and a tiny bit more, but we can do it to the exact precision that Invisalign is asking us to do if we do it that way. Some people are using different methods where they're using high-speed instruments and they go in and they just quickly make a, a space between mm. your teeth. I don't like that personally because I have less control. I like to be able to control exactly the amount of space I want to remove. And, and the reason, the, the importance of making that space is for just creating the, movement? the space to allow the movements to happen. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Mark. My that was pleasure. amazing. Uh, IPR, remember that, guys. It's not a radio station. <laughs>